<laughs> Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? You've never seen a record player? Come here, buddy. I'll show you. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? It'll make sense when you hear it. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Any kind you want. But how? Well, that... I don't really know, but showing's better than telling. Come on, get a closer look. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Hmm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. It's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? 
I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. It's a bomb, not a baby. We're not naming it. Okay, fine. Have it your way. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Um, that pretty much describes everyone in this room. <laughs> Hey, I'm the most mild-mannered, troubled youth you've ever met. I never curse. He doesn't. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin, she had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So... My family was stupid rich. 
Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God. I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought... I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So, I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but... Then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. For you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. Oui? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. They meant what I said. Every single one of my friends is a fighter. We'll make it. And just, you know, talking myself up to it. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair, <laughs> I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. But you, you have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem, a natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. 
It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. Keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. <laughs> 